something seconds before this game starts. Wonder what Langen uh, puts into the water here. Teams getting ready. All right, here we go. And go. And the Germans got the ball. It's some kind of psychological thing to be the first on the ball, even though it doesn't mean anything. Hmm. What do you mean? It does. It does not decide. <laughs> it does not decide uh, the, the the game. So Langen is in ball possession, pushing on the. Um, Spanish basket and there are um, one two three German players uh, waiting uh, on the on the on the sides of the basket now they're all gone and uh, almost the defense of Spain in Spain is also gone they come in now from the close side and um, Langen is building the triangle system having uh, one player in the middle in the pool uh, on the pool bottom and one player on the on the, the open and the close side of the basket so they can decide if they go for uh, for the attack themselves or if they go uh, to one of the pass to one of the sides now one of the Langen players has tried to uh, attack the goalkeeper on the open side on the head but the pass uh, out of the of this uh, of this uh, uh, fighting area was intercepted by a Spanish player but Langen recovers the ball and again from the closed side into the basket. Let's see. I so got today an actualized list with the. Uh Here we go, that's the first goal. Okay. Sorry, I didn't really see what happened because Lorena wanted her phone and I didn't yeah, see what happened. Yeah, because I have the actual list with the actual numbers of the uh, German huh? women. As though I'm it would be important in the moment where a goal happens. Sorry. You're welcome. The blue goal, and this one doesn't work. Okay, yeah. a lot of uh, horn. Time out. I think uh, it looks like one of the, um, the one of the referees is having problems with the horn. It's Apparently, work, work. it's like stuck. Something happened, or, or timeout now? Or? Yeah, it looks like a timeout. Yeah, or maybe you have to push no, it. No, I think that I they have to well. repair you the. Push it really deep inside. It looks like Laura is holding yes. her hands. No ma Laura is the captain. A blue yeah. goal. Blue goal Hi, number she 10. And she scored the goal. Okay, great. Okay. So Ten they seconds. have five players of the national team playing with Langen. And a lot of experience and, and all national players that not actually playing but they used to in the past. So a lot of experience uh, of rugby in, in this team of uh, Germany. So let's see in the middle of the pool. And uh, I can't see where the ball is. Uh, still in the hands of Barcelona, but probably not for long. So, uh, attack, three blue players of Germany are underneath the goalie and the ball is inside and it took too much uh, effort to put the ball inside. The defender um, couldn't do much about it. And blue goal, number eight. Number eight, this is uh, Heike Reichhuber. Uh, she also used to be a former uh, national trainer of the women and played many, right. many years uh, for the national team in Germany. Okay. Timeout. Technical timeout. Timeout. So timeout. Timeout. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, what is this with them? Let's see what's happened. 
Try. Okay. I good. think one of the referees is, is having a little bit of a problem. Teams get ready. With the four. Okay, good. Here we go. And Barcelona is in the middle trying to cross to the German side of the pool, but not really having a lot of success on that. So back in the game, sorry, we are just uh, sitting here in the entrance area and sometimes people just uh, talk to us. And we have to clarify things. So uh, it's a 2-0 for uh, Langen in uh, blue, the German team, and it's uh, against uh, Barcelona in white here, Champions Cup 2017 in Berlin. And Langen is in ball possession and again putting pressure on the Spanish basket coming from the um, open side with the ball and um, pushing the ball to the close side. Oops, thank you. And now from the close side, it's, it's the, the, the basket is surrounded by Langen players and the ball is not very far away from the basket in the hands of uh, the Langen players and they're really close waiting for a chance to see a gap to to see the change of the goalkeepers oh here we go ver, that's an empty tiene. basket Ay, how did no okay. ver cómo se, cómo it, el balón. Sí. it happens when you're under pressure Blue and you see ten. one of your own teammates has the ball and swims away the ball to the surface and uh, Wh which number was it Number seven? No, no, I'm not sure. Time out, white team. Time out, white team. And uh, you are on the surface and you think you are on ball possession and uh, you, you suddenly lose the ball and there is no defender and no goalkeeper. So uh, that was an empty basket and it's a 3-0. The team of Barcelona is losing 3-0. The team of Germany has a very, very strong team. Bueno, o sea, ellos han tenido varios juegos estos días. No es fácil. Las chicas de Alemania tienen una rapidez, fuerza, una diferencia incluso de tamaño. Y bueno, España ha mejorado mucho la defensa, ha mejorado mucho el juego, pero todavía lamentablemente queda ahí una diferencia bastante grande con los mejores del mundo. Así que Eh, están haciendo lo Team's que pueden, tratando de pelear eh, y de defender lo mejor que pueden, pero no es fácil, no es fácil. Se los digo, creo que juego en la liga contra estas chicas y la verdad que los partidos contra ellas son. So back in the game and in the live difíciles. chat, Sebastian Suarez uh, Cardos, thanks for the transmission. You're welcome, thanks for watching. We have 259 people watching. <coughs> And uh, yeah, counting. So back in the game, Langen dominates. Uh, that's not a surprise. But here comes Spain trying to push through to the German basket. But it's it, it's almost impossible for them to break through the three, four Langen players for checking in front of them. And it's. It's the mix of experience, conditioning, self-reliance we see in Langen. Um, let's say Barcelona is not the challenge um, 
the challenge uh, Langen needs uh, to, to show us what they are capable of. That will happen against the Orders. And here's another goal, very well executed. Uh, it was a picture book Blue goal execution. Number 12. Number 12, this is number 12? Number 3. Ah, okay. Blue goal number 3. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> That's he he didn't hear you, Steffi. but he corrected you. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> that was Steffi. This is the uh, captain of the national team of Germany. And uh, she's playing for Langer since, since this uh, season. She used to play for Stuttgart in the past. Let's see. Now Langen is again in the half. Uh, of uh, Spain coming from the close corner, passing above uh, the goalie. The goalie, I don't know if she's aware of the ball is, she looks a little bit confused and um, the ball came from the side, from the close corner. Um, Blue goal number 15. So and this is Kati. Kati also is uh, one of our uh, players of the national team. And many, she many has a years. lot of experience. Yep. So <coughs> I think uh, Barcelona really needs to break now for the second half um, so they can uh, recover a little bit and uh, but you recenter. But they're going great because they're four doing zero great, yes. uh, in, in 10 minutes with such a strong team, um, it's, it's really... Call from the referee. Free throw for holding. Holding, white free throw, holding. Ahora le están dando un tiro libre a las chicas de Barcelona, o sea que fueron eh, agarradas sin, no, sin, sin balón por las alemanas, entonces pueden, a ver si pueden tomar un tipo de, de, de ventaja y de avanzar un poco más en la cancha, de, en la parte de la, de, de, donde está la portería de las alemanas, a ver si pueden acercar un poco, intentar a, a empezar a construir un, el ataque y... Um, tenemos una de las chicas ya posicionada debajo de la portera, pero el, la defensa de las alemanas es verdaderamente fuerte y no le está, están dando paso de que el balón llegue cerca. Entonces tenemos a las alemanas y a las españolas peleando en la esquina cerrada y las alemanas han recuperado el balón y están empezando o intentando empezar un contraataque. Tenemos tres abajo del agua, pasándose el balón. Vienen de a tres abajo contra la portera que está sola. Eh, están empujando un poco sin balón eso a la portera, pero la chica que está con el atacante con el balón viene de la parte de la esquina cerrada. Han pasado el balón, pero la portera ha podido recuperarlo y todavía lo sigue sosteniendo. La verdad es que un rendimiento increíble de la, de la portera y sigue estando todavía abajo del agua. Eh, ahora se les va a poner difícil porque si no... Bueno, so we are at the end of the bien. first half. Great defend of the last yeah. attack uh, from the Spanish uh, team. Altogether, I think uh, the, the Spanish, two Spanish teams surprised me the most. Um, two things I remember uh, I wanted to talk about. Um, and defense. So, uh, first of all, uh, I really miss uh, Jörg Ertel who was uh, doing the last Champions Cup with us and he was my wingman most of the time uh, just sitting there but when he said something it really changed my mind Jörg where are you please don't tell me you're not watching that would be uh, well right now he, you know he's traveling a lot because of his job um, that's so true I don't know uh, so Jörg yeah right I, I next time if you're not here I will put up a uh, a paper Jörg that, that always uh, agrees to me, that always is uh, doing this, agreeing to Wolf. I can say that because you're not in the chat. Thank you. So the other thing um, that I think is really interesting, what the Orcas, what uh, uh, Samuel Gaviria told us in your academy, when they start with new players, uh, young players, they don't um, show them uh, nothing. They just tell them go th for the goal in a game. They just throw them in. They don't show them to defend, how to defend, because, and that's the interesting thing, they want to program their mindset on attacking. So they want to have them thinking about going forward and not the first thing shouldn't be you defend, but the first thing should be you go forward. Well, 
attack is the best defense. Right? Exactly. And uh, the defensive mindset, and I know it from myself, sometimes I play too defensive, defensive and I, I'm, I'm too over uh, protective. Because if you, sure, you have to risk, but you also need to have this, this will to go forward and go into the, the, the um, defense of the other team. So that's another uh, uh, interesting thing to start a team. Start with throwing them in and telling them, go for the goal have fun uh, scoring and try to score then we showed you how to score and after that you learn how to defend i think that's a, an approach we need to to make uh it's fantastic the job that orgas um yeah, is incredible. doing in uh, in colombia it's almost a scientific advance of the sport with bm uh, mechanic analytics of the of the movements of the attacks of the data they have, um, it's really, really uh, amazing uh, to have someone like uh, Samuel that has not just experience uh, in Colombia, had played with Molde, is a professor of biomechanics, so he can put always classes into develop different things and analysis <laughs> of different uh, aspects of our sport. So that's really um, great. I don't have information of any similar like that happening in Europe. You, Wolf? Um, I think the closest we uh, have, and uh, I know nothing about Norway, how Molde trains. I think they have a system too, but I guess they will not talk about it. But the closest I know of is what uh, Tarkan is doing in Turkey. He's really putting together information. And you know, uh, players like uh, Iver from Molde and Ansofi from the Black Marriott were invited to Izmir to train uh, the youngsters to show them in workshops what they are doing. And I think the, the knowledge transmission is there quite strong, but it is centered around Ege. And uh, what we try to do with the academy, put more of it out there. So uh, teams who don't have the means of uh, the Ege, the well-organized Ege team uh, can um, can learn from this knowledge. And uh, no, I don't think there are many teams out there or many clubs that have this deep insight into the mechanics, the strategies, and the, the, the development of a team, how to improve a team, what makes, it Im what makes the improvement work. Because it's not only you have to be in a better condition, but to put the condition into work. And this is, uh, this is some many factors that define uh, a good team and the winning team. So uh, there was a question for a hashtag and we have uh, CC17. Ifa told me. And uh, the other one is... Yeah, CC17. Okay, so apparently they're having a problem with the horn. I think I have to inform uh, our techie guys. You have to wait a little bit because one of the referees... Please get out of the water. So all the participants, all the players uh, have to get out of the water since uh, we have to repair the horn. Yeah, it's not, uh, it's not working. So now the teams are out of the water. And uh so I just informed Winne and he's going up to the uh, pool area to help out. So this is uh, this is also not only a strain on the on the teams playing or on us commentators, but also on the equipment, on the cameras, on the lines. It, it, it's all after three days, everything <laughs> almost everything breaks. There's the stairs, people for the exchange area, uh, a lot of things just break. And we see now uh, Vinne there in action. Um, and this is uh, something really bad for us here at the Champions Cup because uh, a delay of some minutes breaks our whole schedule down. Um, yeah. But uh, the, next, the next game is scheduled at four, 
and we have 48. Uh, schedule at four, and we have. Uh, hold on, let me see. Thirty. Yeah, so we were really behind the time now, but hopefully uh, they can repair the the horn. Um, that's that's another thing uh, we we try to think about. You know, there's so much we can do with underwater rugby, and uh, there are plans how to do uh, uh, the the how you call that for the horns to give the signal to do it without cable to do it wireless but in the water it's difficult and uh, there are tries from uh, i think martin in the, in the us uh, we had byram in our team trying to uh, invent something how we do it wireless uh, and a kind of wireless but i haven't seen one in action yet um, there are new improvements but mostly the single um, people try to do it and we could do an uh, an open source kind of effort to improve things. Um, so there's there's way to go. What I dream of, uh, and I talked about this uh, before when we were planning the academy, is an, uh, a three-dimensional representation of the game area in a in a in a in a um, video game kind of uh, environment where you can uh, show how the movements work and where you can where you can position the players so a three-dimensional environment uh, in the pool side not in the pool size but in reduced pool size where you cannot show on a screen uh, the movements of players where you can put in trajectories where you should go what should happen so this will be a great thing to do theory you can watch uh, games of uh, uh, teams like the the Aggie players and like Tarkan do, but imagine what you could do if you can show them where to go to repeat it, where to go. So go when you're here, go there and just give it to them before they go into the water. Would be another idea. I think we have a lot of ideas um, what to improve and what we can do. So a little explanation: what is going on? We have problems with the horns. Uh, with the signal horns in the water, one of the uh, signal, uh, uh, how do you call them? Here we go. Game starts. I think they put in another horn. And it's the second half Barcelona uh, from Spain against Langen from Germany. Ah, um, there is one. Uh, uh, on a second, problems. I'm alone right now, so I have to type in and uh, do the comments. But the here I'm back again. So Langen, uh, it's the second half in this game of uh, Spain against Germany, Barcelona against Langen, and Langen in blue, and uh, Spain in white. And it's a 4 0 lead for. Uh, for Langen, and Langen is attacking on the open side now. Didn't succeed, and uh, the wall was taken away by Langen, uh, by, by Barcelona. I think from Karina Steins, as far as I could see. It's uh, interesting how you rem how you recognize people in their movements. I never watch for the numbers. I always recognize them in the movements. And uh, it doesn't matter for me who is uh, which color are, are. I remember them before we start, who is in my team, and I remember them in the movements. Uh, that's what I like about the sports. So, Langen is on the surface, fighting with Barcelona in a cluster with uh, or for the ball. But now Langen is down again on the bottom of the pool on the close side. And is doing uh, quite a chill job, trying to uh, execute their uh, triangle. There's one player going now up over the goalkeeper, but there was no one to pass the ball to on the other side. And here we start again. One player coming in from uh, the front. Another player waiting on the open side, receiving the ball, pushing on the goalkeeper, and that's the goal. It's, it's very uh, picture book-like what uh, Langen is doing here. And um, we have to say Barcelona is doing well defense. 
so it's not that easy for Langen um, just to, to swim through. They really have um, put some effort in it. And again, it's a six. It's already a six-zero lead for Langen. And we see the same pattern again and again. And a lot of these attacks come from the open side. And defenders can only be on one side. And it's really important the the four checkers are into the defense, not only for checking in front of the basket, but protecting the basket uh, from these attacks from the players waiting on the open side. There was again Karina, I think. Uh, she saw the pass coming, and now uh, Barcelona is going for the basket of Langen, but it stopped in the, the half of Langen. Not this many uh, Spanish players in the water down there to to build up an attack pattern that would force Langen to swim behind them, and uh, Langen recovered the ball. And now we have a Langen player going for the basket. The basket uh, was empty and the Langen player was uh, disturbed and interrupted by a uh, defender and we're back at the basket and already well that that's a little bit of pushing without ball at the basket I guess and we have a goal it looked like this Langen play on was was really pushing hard I didn't see a ball there but since it uh, it finished with the goal probably it was between uh, the Langen player and uh, the Spanish goalkeeper and I didn't see it from my perspective 7-0 good game from Barcelona both Spanish teams improved uh, dramatically and I think they are uh, satisfied with their uh, performance even though they uh, they received quite a beating but it could always be worse and uh, they did a good job they didn't break So five minutes, 25 uh, left. And we have a Langen player going uh, for the basket, but it was not protective enough with the ball. And so uh, a uh, Barcelona player could get hold of it. Ball drops down, recovered by a Langen player. And another wave going into the basket. And it's again and it again, and uh, you really wonder how Spain is uh, holding on. And now there is no defender. That's the chance for uh, for Langen. But the the attacker above the goalkeeper waited a little bit too long to to go in forcefully to force a break. And so the goalkeeper went out again of this chaos around the basket. And now a second at another attack is going in. That's Karina again recovering the ball. She's really doing a good job in the defense of Barcelona. Amazing how she can uh, move and, and just get in the right position and get the right leverage to get the ball and pull it out of the arms of a player. So we have a fight on the surface. There's the cluster and we have two Langen players holding and fighting with one Barcelona player. Uh, normally we say only one-on-one -on -one because otherwise you just uh, use forces you should need down in the water and you bind them to the one carrying the ball. Ball out of the playing area and it's a free throw against Langen. So... I think the level altogether is quite high on this Champions Cup and uh, sometimes the, the top teams complain they don't want to compete against and then we have another attack from Langen against Barcelona and from the open side the goal carrier is pushing, losing the ball and another Langen players, two other, three other Langen players come from the open side, they even uh, swim against each other. <laughs> they are blocking each other. There's there's more Lange now on the Spanish basket than there is. Uh, there are Spanish players now on the close side over the goalkeeper. There is a lot of pressure, but uh, Spain uh, 
succeeds in keeping the players away, the, the Langen uh, attacks away. And uh, Langen has to really do an effort, even if it's 7-0. Uh, zero there is an effort in the in the scoring of Langen here, and it is another goal. Took quite long, um, and that's not criticizing Langen, it's more a compliment to Barcelona. So one minute 58 uh, left here in Champions Cup 2017 in Berlin. We have 285 people watching the live stream, which is now compared to the other times we are on YouTube. We've been on live stream before, livestream.com, now we're on YouTube. It's easy accessible. And we have a call from the referee and a free throw again against uh, Langen. One minute, 29 left. And it's an 8-0 lead for Langen, Germany in blue. So Langen is uh, pushing again against the basket of Barcelona. But it's not that easy. It never is, but you, you would have guessed with all the pressure the, the Barcelona girls crumble earlier. But they seem to have, talking about mental strength, they seem to have the mental strength <laughs> uh, to withstand um, the, the pressure we see from Langen and it's, uh, it tells something about Barcelona. Very uh, uh, good team here, very close together and doing an amazing job. 20 seconds left. We have a cluster on the surface in the middle of the pool. I think it's now time counting down. 13, 12, 11. I can't see who is actually holding the ball, but I guess it's Barcelona. 2, 1, and 0. Okay, it's an 8 0 for Langen. In game 32, here Champions Cup 2017 in Berlin.